All right, guys, welcome back. It's another review, and I'm diving back into another hot butcher. This one, I think they're trying to kill me with, guys. This is clocking in at 10.25% ABV, uh, that triple uh, India Pale Ale, aka the Tippa, if you will. It's Citra and Simcoe hopped, which are two of my favorite hops ever, so I'm just throwing that out there. But this is greener moss. I've never had green moss, but this is their bigger souped up version on steroids. Uh, so really excited to try this one with you again. I'm new at this. I haven't seen this one before uh, or even the little brother to this one. So let's put that out there as a disclaimer. Not sure what I'm going to run into here. This was canned on 5-8-23. Today is the 21st of June. So not super fresh, but not in incredibly old either. So it's not really too big of a deal, but it's, it's a high ABV beer here. We're talking about 10.25%. So hopefully it's not overly sweet. We'll see hot butcher, usually resinous pine, bitter, uh, dry on the back end, but I don't know. You have to drive a lot of malt into this to get it up to that ABV. So let's see what we're working with, guys. Uh, it's literally Hulk in a can. I don't know. Look at this thing. It looks like freaking the Hulk would be drinking this. Uh, here we are diving back into another beer review. Hope you guys are doing well. This should conclude my Hot Butcher series for the, uh, in the latest term, let's put it that way. I've, I've done uh, three. This will be my third and final for a while, unless I get my hands on more Hot Butcher, but highly doubtful. It's hard to get these sometimes, uh, even though the distribution is getting wider. Awesome, awesome job, M4. Let's put it out there. So, greener moss. Wow, look at this thing. Kidding me? Haze bomb. <sighs> very creamy head sitting on top. Quite dense. I poured very aggressively. But guys, look at this thing. Dawn soapy bubble stickiness uh, running down the side of the glass. It's amazing. It looks crazy. It looks like a normal hot butcher beer. It doesn't matter if it's 7%, 8%, 10.25%. They all kind of look like this. No different today. Let's go to an aroma. Sticky green pine. Slight herbaceous chiviness. Dank mangoes. Kiss of peach. Grapefruit. Oranges. Lemon. Wow. I, it smells like a hot butcher beer. It's just resinous pine, slight herbaceousness. Um, it's bitter, it's piney, it's sweet honey through the middle. It smells like hot butcher, it is hot butcher. Uh, greener, moss, let's dive in guys. Cheers, hopefully I'm alive after this one. Okay, okay. Very smooth, I'm just throwing it out there. It's, it's like blended up peaches, thrown into a blender of course, and then it's just, kind of tacked on by this like grapefruit, orange, uh, dry mango. It's like a medley of fruits in a blender, but it's so soft and, and uh, delicate the way it drinks. 10.25% going down pretty much like butter. You can tell there's a little bit of ethanol heat. There's a little bit of that bitterness on the back end, but really it's uniquely smooth at 2 uh, 10.25. It's uh, it's dangerous for sure. And again, that soft little buttery, creamy mouthfeel added onto this makes it even more dangerous than it should be. Sticky green pine, so soft. That mouthfeel is so soft, man. Um, that's one of the best hot butcher mouthfeels I've ever gotten for sure. And this being that high octane, uh, just again the word dangerous goes down way too easily and again i'm going to use the word buttery creamy smooth peaches in a blender it, it, it's got this stone fruity quality to it uh just blended into that mouthfeel um it's it's soft man it's it's really good this is really tasty again sticky green pine cone uh, a little bit of earthy, soily citrus. Peaches, again, the number one thing with stone fruit. Uh, apricots, um, touch of cantaloupe, honeydew. It's all in there, man. It, it's, it's a stone fruit bomb, but it's slightly tropical and slightly citrusy, but the stone fruits is what resonates. A little bit of dankness, 
and then incredible softness with a touch. Um, wow, this is very good. I didn't expect to, to say it was this good because at this ABV, I don't typically like the beers as much. It's just, that's that's the nature of my rankings and, and what I like nowadays. Back in the day, I'd be like, dude, 50 out of 50, this is amazing. It's, it's high ABV and it drinks so easily. Yes, that's part of it, but drinkability does matter to me. But this one though, this one, delivering on the drinkability aspect, which it shouldn't at this ABV. Slightly dank peaches and melon. Uh, just freaking delicious, man. I, I mean, yeah, it's got some sweetness, but it, it rounds out quite nicely on the back end with that um, peachy, herbaceous, piney bitterness. It just, it rounds out really nicely. And, and most beers don't with this kind of octane. Um, one of the better New England styles, what tippa, dippa, sippa, mippa, whatever you want to call this thing, it's amazing. It, this is a very freaking good beer, guys. I'm just going to lay it out there. Hot Butcher killed it with this one. Like, I don't know how you can make this one too much better. Maybe dial down the sweetness a little bit, but you have to drive that in there to get to that 10.25%. The malt, the sweetness, it comes with that. It comes with the territory. Can't get over the soft mouthfeel, but yeah, as you drink this, the sweetness does come on. What can you do? I mean, this is still mind boggling. It should not go down this smooth as it warms up. Yeah, you might get a little extra flavor, but you actually might lower the drinkability, but you know what, I, man, you, you'd have to sip this one. I could put it down, but it's really a sipper at this ABV. Um, I'm just rambling now. Sweet honeycomb. Mm. Dude, it gets, just keeps getting better as I drink it. It's really freaking good. So as for a rating, I'm gonna go with a four, seven out of five. One of the best uh, New England styles I've had with this ABV attached to it. Um, just ridiculous mouthfeel, ridiculous drinkability, ridiculous complexity to it. Uh, just simply a fantastic beer from Hot Butcher. Amazing, um, wow. Good job, Hot Butcher. Crazy, crazy good. So you heard it from me, guys. It is what it is. It's another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.